In February of 2013, my journey will begin. It starts with a very long flight from New York City to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. I'll be getting on a bike and beginning a 250 mile trek to Cambodia. On day 10, we'll be in Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia. And day 10 is the reason I'm telling this story. On that day, I'll get to visit one of the Somali Mom Foundation shelters for victims of sex trafficking. This is my granddaughter, Chloe. If she just happened to be born in Cambodia, she would have a one in 40 chance of being sold to a brothel. And being three years old is not too young. Every story is shocking. Samana's virginity was sold four times. She was stitched up without anesthesia between each sale before the brothel owner gobs out her eye with a piece of metal. When Sina resisted, she was prodded with electrical wires and locked naked in a coffin filled with biting ants for two days. To me, this trip is not just a two-week experience in my life. This trip is about looking deeply into myself and uncovering what I can offer to help somebody live a happier life. I want to help these girls who are victims of sex trafficking. I can't help them if I don't have some understanding of their world. And I can't get that by reading books or attending fundraisers. Now I have to ask you for something. This bike ride is also a fundraiser for the Somali Mom Foundation, an organization that supports rescue operations, shelter services, and rehabilitation programs in Southeast Asia. They've rescued over 7,000 girls, including Samana and Sina, who are now part of a special program where the survivors help the victims. I have to raise $5,500, but I'm hoping to raise a lot more. Please help by donating any amount that you can, and please pass this on to friends and family. Your help is very much appreciated, and I promise to keep you posted on where this journey takes me. Thank you very much.